Hey, in this video, we're going to take a look at Hey Space. It's absolutely free, and honestly, it's like a merger of project management software and Slack or any sort of chat messaging system. So stay tuned for this one. This is an interesting product. Hey, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. Today, I want to take a look at this product called Hey Space. It's actually Hey dot S-P-A-C-E, so they're using one of those new uh, uh, TLD domain extensions there. Somebody brought this to my attention. I looked at it. It looks pretty interesting. It seems to be a combination of like a messaging tool, chat tool, like Slack with management, with task management kind of built in. And you can see a, you know, a nice task management system there. So looks pretty intriguing. Lots of use cases they list out here on their website. But it says it's 100% free. And everything is free. And I don't see anything about a paid version. So it could be it's early stage. They just haven't come up with their model yet. They're checking to see adoption. But, you know, my take on 100% free, if you're not paying for the product, that means you are the product. So I take some caution there. I would I would dig a little bit into the privacy policy and the terms and conditions. But for now, I'm just going to get started and take a look at this product and, and see what their onboarding is like. So let's go ahead and click get started and see what's going on here. So we're going into the app and the registration process. All right, so we got a little little universe uh, thing going here with a little messaging. I can sign up with Google, but you know, I don't like to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my email address, text smart boss there, let's set a password, agree to those terms, which I always like to read them, especially when it's something free like this. But let's go ahead and get started. Looks like, uh, okay, workspace name, pretty straightforward stuff just like you would at any kind of slack or task management system you've got uh, workspace and now invitations I'm gonna go ahead and skip those for now and uh, just go ahead and start exploring so you could invite to your team if you wanted to but we always do that later so now I'm in the now what what I did not see is any concept of a mobile app or a desktop app uh, I don't know if you're hearing that, but I'm getting the browser is giving me a little, a little little alert sound coming from this tab. It's dinging on me and doing all kind of things right now. So I got some annoying dings going on at the moment. But okay, but let's take a look. So let's first start in their demo space. That's always a good thing. That's where I am here. So this looks very much like a Slack channel. Um, you've got conversations here. I can type some messages here I saw where they have your typical at mention type of concept there and very much like slack you can notify the channel everybody in the space everybody here so very slack like from that perspective over here it looks like I got the concept of some cards now I'm assuming these cards are probably going to be the task let's take a look let's click on a let's click on a card here and this looks okay. So this is like a project tab. Now this is this has got a lot of detail to it, um, very much like a task that you would have in Asana or ClickUp or any other task management tools that we talked about. You got descriptions. Looks like you can have rich text in here, which is nice. You can even embed things. It looks like there. Let's go ahead and get out of there. You can make checklists. So that's that's pretty cool. You can do attachments. And you can look, you can even write comments inside. So this is almost like a threading inside of a task. And I can assign additional people to this or even follow this. And I'm sure get some sort of notifications of that. That looks like probably like a due date and in progress. So that, that's a pretty nice task card there. I'm not, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and close it. Let's add a new one. And looks like once you add it, you could then go in and do all those things that we just talked about so that's a that's a pretty robust now what can I do with these though um, let's see if I click on that I can move to a list I can move all the cards I can archive a list so let's see if I move to a list it, there's the list right there your spaces so each each space has a card list which sounds to be a task list and I can put it in a particular position so that gives me kind of the feeling that the tasks are in somewhat of an order uh, of completion and I'm sure you could do that any kind you want let's uh, add a list a list is my list 
is this? So you have list, which looks like you can represent somewhat as a project. And then within a project, you add your specific task. And then let's see something. Can I drag a task over here? No, I can't do that. But I'm sure there's some way to reference that. Okay, here we go. There's a chat. And then I get to that board view where I have my list. So lists are kind of like the, the list projects, or actually they don't have to be projects. This could be like a to-do list. It could be what I'm doing today, what I'm doing this week, what I'm doing this month, what might be postponed. It could be a development list, what's in progress, what's completed, what's your backlog. So there's lots of different use cases for that. So I like the board view a little bit better than having these pinned over here. Uh, but it looks like I can do some filtering and do some other things. Uh, let's see, I can even change this sidebar to go into some settings as well. So that's pretty nice. And I can set privacy, which is important. Make this a private group so I can have private channels. And I can determine what my notification preference is. Very nice. Um, so far, so good. All right, let's continue to explore. So I can make more spaces. I've got my teams. I can add more team members. Um, let's take a look under my settings. And see what else I can do. I can do very much like Slack here. Let's look into my team settings. Add-ons. They've got some add-ons. So you can do project estimation and voting. So that's a, that's an area where I can see them coming out with a lot of cool things. Build your tags. I got a very solar system theme going here. A mobile app. So it is beta. So that's important. So it looks like it's only on uh, Android right now because it took me uh, there. So they got to come up with an iOS iPhone app, but it looks like it's coming. That's very nice. And let's see if the, I mean, there's no concept. Of, so I, I just suspect they haven't come up with a payment model yet. They're just building this out. But this this has a lot of potential. You know, I've, t I've taken a look at a lot of these types of systems looking for like a Slack competitor. And, you know, th th we've looked at HipChat. We've looked at... Um, Microsoft's version and and Facebook's version and uh, Todoist version and just go to our YouTube channel. You'll see I've been looking at a lot of these. This one has a is a nice beginning. This one has a very nice start. What they've got to do is come up with some integrations. You know, of course, they don't have integrations uh, with um, Zapier and and other tools and systems to kind of maybe integrate some of these cards, but. Everything else looks pretty good here just to start with. So let's, yep, that's how you get to the settings as well. So take a look. Uh, hey, Space, I say if you, you jump in now, you probably get a grandfathered account when they do come out with some new stuff in the future, and you can give them some great feedback and help them as they develop the product. And, hey, if you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel because every week we're putting out a new one just like it. And also check out our Facebook page and our website where we have a lot of other free resources. I'll see you on the next video.